Hello everyone, this is Lydia. I have a quick project share and some goodies, a little small haul from Walmart and Michaels. So I wasn't feeling too hot a couple of days ago when I was browsing through my paper crafts, July, August 2011 issue. There's a lot of beautiful cards in here. And I love this um, project here, so I wanted to give it a try. So I was inspired by Julia Stainton, and this is um, the Summer Miss You card. And I really love the box. It's very simple. And the card, because it was something different, you know, using paints. So I wanted to give that a try. So this is what the uh, box looked like before. I picked this up at, um, uh, now i got to find it. I picked this up at a garage sale and I paid a buck for it. And it was a raspberry tea box. Looks like that, sorry for the glare. So I got that at the thrift store, paid a buck for it, and I altered it. So this is what my box looks like. It's very simple. And the papers I used were the authentic papery from Colorbox. And I just used a large floral print around it and I used the blue and white little polka dot print on the sides. And I used Frayed Burlap by Tim Holtz Distress Ink to distress the box. I did the top here and I did all the edges. And then the little wood balls I also picked up at the thrift store. I paid like 20 cents for them, I think. I stamped the bottom and signed it and dated it. And I didn't have too much um, space to work with on the top. I just added this large gardenia that Steph sent me in a rack. Thank you, Steph. And these brown flowers my sister sent me in a rack. These tiny ones here, Karen sent me. Thank you, Karen. And the little blue ones I think are from For the Love of Art. I added some beads, some pearl beads. I just tucked them in there. This cameo is from Spare Parts. And here's the a butterfly stick pin. So very simple, love it. And then I really love this, the way she had the ribbon up on here. But um, because of the way my box is designed, I couldn't do that. It slides open like so. And I'm gonna fill that with goodies. So that's the box. And then for the card, I used some Recollections craft paper. I have fun painting. Well, first I stamped it in white with my Kaiser Craft Music No Stamp. You can see it in the background there. And I used um, some chalk ink, this one by Recollections. Then I went over it with some metallic paint, just back and forth. And then I added this little um, sticky back burlap piece that, um, I think, what is that? No, canvas that Karen sent me in a rack. And I sewed around it with my sewing machine, like just on the corner here. I did some machine stitching. Now, I wish I would have um, masked this stamp and just stamped like a music note in the background first. That would look prettier, but oh well. And then I stamped that um, pretty dress on there. Don't remember the maker of the stamp, but it came in a package that looks like this. Might be Inka Dinka Doo. And then over here, I added a Tim Holtz little token thing. I don't know what they call those. It says moments. Um, Ribbon buckle and flat back pearl. These are two little um, um, leaf stick pins. I have a little resin piece here with a rose and I added some twine in brown. So that's the card, I like it, it's different. And then the inside I just added some paper, die cuts, I can write a little note and a Martha Stewart butterfly. So those are my quick little um, projects that I, that I did. I think they turned out cute. And I stopped over at um, Walmart because I needed some Mod uh, Podge. And I found this cute little um, pin cushion for a buck. And I found this chevron tape. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but uh, I like the pattern on there. That's cute. And these Akasha jewels. They have the, the holes in them already for $2.50. So happy to find that. Then I stopped over at Walmart to see if they had anything in the 
new in the dollar fifty bin. And I was really impressed. There wasn't really much to look at, but I did buy these um paper sacks, paper bags. They go with the um you know the collection, the circus collection. And I have this balloon um the stamp in this little balloon here. So I got that a dollar fifty, and I picked this one up. It's going in a rack. Then they had a bunch of uh, little dollar um, wooden boxes to alter, so I picked this one up. It has a little mesh here, like chicken wire, up on top. That'll be fun to alter. Here's a different shaped one. That one. They had these. Here's another chicken wire one, but it's white, white metal piece on there. That's cute. And I got this one, and this one that looks like a steamer trunk. I like the shape of that one. It's pretty. So that's going to be fun to alter. And then I picked up a watercolor pad, because I want to try um, stamping and using my watercolors. So I got that. And this is what I really went to get. I wanted the so bad, the silicone molds by Martha Stewart. And I think they were $7.99, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm sure about the price, but I think it was they were $7.99. And I went to Walmart like three, uh, I mean to Michaels like three or four times trying to find the molds and I couldn't find them. So I was so happy to find them this time. So I got that one. It looks like a mum. This is the one I really wanted, the frame. Can't wait to play with these. Here's the fern. Then this one with the hearts. And the leaves, small and large butterfly. Here's a star one. More flowers. And this one here. Can't think of what that's called right now. Swirls, whatever. And then I was dying to get the paper stack. This one here, and all the paper stacks were 50% off, so I got this one for $11.99. And I won't bother showing you the papers because I'm sure you ladies have seen this already. And this is the one that has all the different Polaroids. I'll just show you the cover. It has the Polaroid cameras. It has the Polaroid film. Yay! Okay, ladies, that's my project share for today and a couple of little goodies that I purchased at Walmart and Michaels. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Post the comments if you wish and subscribe. Bye!